Good evening. It's uh, Saturday, July 3rd, 2010, a tropical update, day before 4th of July holiday. Um, today we are watching our Invest 95L in the uh, Gulf of Mexico here. You can see this little naked cloud swirl here. Actually, not totally naked. We have um, some thunderstorms have been trying to fire to the south of the center of circulation, but the system does not look good at all. Um, can't believe the National Hurricane Center actually gave this 20% chance on this last little update, but um, not seeing much development out of this. Now, tomorrow there might be a little opportunity if it could get up in this area. Sheer, sheer values could lighten up a little bit. So we're still, hurricane hunters are on call for tomorrow just in case. Um, right now, I'm not, I'm not really going to be um, too excited about this system. Um, for your 4th of July holiday, might bring some a little added uh, rainfall along the uh, Louisiana coast here tomorrow into northeast uh, Texas coast. So bad news for 4th of July there, but um, I don't really see this developing anytime soon. You can see all the dry air and northerly shear that's uh, coming onto this system from the north. And this is just bad news if you want a tropical system to develop. Um, just doesn't look good at all here. Too much dry air and shear right now. Now, what I'm a little more excited about is here in the Western Caribbean. Thought we would see an invest here um, yesterday, but it looks like we'll probably see invest 96L come right out of this area here. And when we have an invest, that means a National Hurricane Center, we can start running specific models to these storms. Um, so we should see this. You see the system really starting to take shape here, this tropical wave. And this will slowly move off to the west, northwest, northwest, and uh, almost like Alex Part do, huh? Here we go again, same kind of track almost. So we'll definitely be watching this. We have another tropical wave here. Um, a lot of shear cutting through the uh, Eastern Caribbean up this way. So this system for the meantime will get sheared off. I'll have to watch this system. If it could get north of the, um, the islands early next week up in this area, we might see some development. The Canadian model is uh, telling us we might see something and that, that's a possibility as the shear could be a little lighter up in here. And the rest of the uh, tropical Atlantic, nothing exciting going on right now. We continue to see these waves come off the coast of Africa. Um, still a little too um, too early for the Cape Verde season, but there's been a lot of tropical waves. And once this starts shifting a little farther north, we get towards the end of July, beginning of August. This is when we'll start focusing out here um, for these systems. But definitely a lot of tropical waves coming off uh, this early in the season. So going to be an active season I could uh, tell you that. I wanted to show you the current shear map and you could see northerly shear um, impinging upon Invest 95L in the Gulf about 20 to 30 knots. Lower shear to the south if this thing could have slipped a little farther south it might have had a chance but you can see this nice area of lower shear right in this area here and this is why um, I expect this uh, western Caribbean system to get going gradually here stronger shear this way. This is our stronger band this year right now and then up here with the trough. Um, and you can see there was actually an anti-cyclone over this uh, this wave here but um, it's going to start getting torn apart by the shear but it could get into a better area right here north of the island so definitely something to watch for as well. Alright let's go through the models. Uh, this is the Canadian model here um, and you can see it developing a few systems. First system to focus on Western Caribbean um, the one that I'll, that'll be our next invest and you can see it moving right over the, near the Yucatan taking a course towards the um, northeast Texas coast. Also remember our old frontal boundary draped along here. Um, another trough split looks like it'll occur and we could get some kind of development off the southeast coast. You can see it trying to develop here but then it actually develops this wave. That wave we were talking about. The Canadian actually develops that wave north of the islands here and brings it up along the east coast. So another something to watch for there. Here's a GFS model. Doesn't develop this system too strongly but you can see an area of low pressure heading towards the Texas coast here from the Western Caribbean and like I was showing you that this is what I meant by that trough split. Another one here and we can see development east of the Bahamas here. You see the GFS bring this system towards the um, southeast towards the North Carolina South Carolina coastline. If anything does develop off the southeast coast, it's going to tend to tend back towards the coast. So anywhere from Florida to North Carolina, definitely have to watch for something out here maybe early next week. Here's the uh, UK MET model for Monday and showing you that area of low pressure off the Florida coastline here. 
Um, they have nothing in the Western Caribbean. Euro model, this is for Thursday. They're a little slower on the Western Caribbean development and take it more on the westerly course and then have it in the Bay of Campeche here Thursday. So they're a little slower. And uh, I believe if this is going to be a slower developing system, it's going to tend to move more west and, of course, weaker as well. More of a Mexico problem yet again. I think if this could be a little quicker this time, it may want to sneak a little farther north. That's why anywhere from Louisiana, Texas, Mexico, this area is really going to have to watch because almost similar to the Alex situation, we still have a big high pressure area here over the eastern U.S. It's just um little, little, le this highest position maybe a little farther east this time. So if something could move a little faster, it may want to go a little farther north. So again, this whole area from Louisiana to Mexico, it's going to have to watch it. Uh, no gaps model for Wednesday showing that area of low pressure off the southeast coast. Um, basically some low pressure here. They don't really develop a system too strongly in the Western Caribbean. Just keep a broad area of low pressure in this region here. But again, showing you this area off the southeast coast. Again, those are going to be my two main areas to watch early this week. It's going to be Western Caribbean moving into the Gulf and then off the southeast coast. And probably a third area would be that wave here east of the islands. Something could get going as it moves north of the islands. Um, early to mid next week. And again, just to give you an overview of the steering flow, high pressure here anchored along the eastern United States, um, hot weather uh, yet again. Um, so 95L will continue west-northwest, eventually make landfall, if you want to call it a landfall, Louisiana, northeast Texas coast. Anything that develops in the uh, western Caribbean, you can see where it's going. Gulf of Mexico again. Um, west, um, north, it's hard to say right now, but I'd say anywhere from Louisiana to Texas, again, has to be watchful. High pressure will definitely save Florida and probably, you know, most of the northern Gulf Coast in here, except, you know, again, Louisiana, Texas will have to watch it. Again, almost the same setup like Alex, it's just that this high pressure, if this system could get going a little quicker in the Western Caribbean, could have a chance to go a little farther north than Alex. If it kind of slows down and doesn't move as fast, then it probably looking like Mexico again. So some of the variables there, we don't have anything, even a system to talk about yet. So we'll, we'll talk about track more down the road, but that's something to watch for. And again, if something develops off the southeast coast early next week, the high pressure is going to be blocking it up in this area. So it's probably going to get pushed back to the coast somewhere, whether it'll be North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, somewhere in here. If something does develop, we'll get pushed back towards the coast. So again, those are going to be my areas of concern. Again, Western Caribbean, probably new invest shortly here, 96L. Um, and then off the southeast coast, again, going to watch that area uh, early next week. And also want to watch that wave uh, east of the islands. If that gets north of the islands in this area, we could see development as well. So a lot of areas to watch for. I'll be keeping you updated like always. I thank you for listening. Everybody have a safe 4th of July holiday. Um, if something um, develops um, of big interest tomorrow, I will definitely have a, uh, an update. If not, I will see you all on Monday the 5th. Have a safe uh, 4th of July.